See, most of you have been in one of my classes, so I'll, I'll try and start off slow because I know I usually start out really, really fast, and then I slow down. I brought my little helper, my, uh, my uh, leverage poster, so one of the things that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through each lever, we're going to break down each class of lever, show where it's applied, how it works, and then Mr. Rainey actually requested something about inclined planes and wedges for some reason, so we'll talk about that. So, whoops, Mr. That card is going to teach some stick stuff later, but I'm going to use the stick to demonstrate and we'll go through each lever one by one so it's very clear as to what they do. The first class lever, somebody tell me what that's like, what a, what a first class lever is? Teeter-tar. Okay, good, it's a teeter-tar. The, the, the poster has a nice picture here with the, uh, the uh, effort, the lever, the fulcrum, and the load. Four basic elements of every lever are the action, the line traditionally connecting all of the other elements of leverage. Okay, so that's this stick. Can I borrow you real quick? Between, hold your arm up. There you go. This stick is the line that connects these elements the effort, the load, and the fulcrum. Okay, and then no matter how I use it, that stick connects those elements. Okay, whether I use it here, the second class. A third class or a first class lever, it connects certainly. It connects all three of those elements. A couple of technique examples that we use it in is the grasp of death, crossing talon, the grip of death, and there are others. But for now, we'll go through a couple of these techniques and really look at how they work, how first class levers work. Okay, and then we'll move on to second class levers and the third class levers. All right, so does everybody have uh, the technique, the grasp of death? Sure. Yeah, let's review that real quick in the air. So we're gonna go here, drop, strike. Some of, some of you may know it as the pincher, okay? Pull the arm off, we step in, and here's where the leverage begins. So we pull that, we put the fulcrum against the arm and we pull it down. Drive it down, then you go into the punch, so on and so forth, okay? So we're gonna just use that arm bar, okay? For, as he comes in to grab, I'm gonna grab, take that, and I'm gonna press it down, and I'm gonna use that lever, okay? Now, I can use this two ways. I can pull and move him, that's the first class lever, okay? That's what I wanna do. I wanna drive this down and pull him with that other arm to move him around the lever. Okay, sir. How'd you get so lucky? You're right there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so all we really want to do is I want to feel the lever and how it works, what its mechanical function is, okay, so that we can better use it later. We'll just do like two minutes, grab a partner, and we're going to work just the grab. This is all I want you to work. Because with the grab, I want you to hook, put the arm there, and pull. Just pull that arm and keep the fulcrum in place and pull and feel how that works. Because you go up and down, up and down. Thank you. Okay, go ahead and grab a partner real quick. Now remember that if you change this, if you change the left, you change the type of lever. So if you, keep this stationary and move that, you then change it to a third class lever. Okay. Right. So pull it back. So because this, because this, this, uh, let me, let me, let me finish. So let's go through the four basic elements. We have the lever, the line that connects them. We have the effort. This is the applied force to move the load around the fulcrum via the connection of the lever. We have the fulcrum. This is the pivot point of the axis of action, okay? And then we have the load. That's the object that you're moving. This technique, the grasp of death, okay? This is actually a compound lever. What I was trying to do is just get you to move this and freeze this. But let's go to a different technique that you guys may have fun with, but won't get right away. It's okay, you'll get it later. Uh, Mr. 
puff dough. Okay, so spiraling twig, we drop out and we pull this. Okay, this is a true application of a first class lever because I trap, this becomes the fulcrum, and I move his body on the other end.